have a red cup, have a blue cup. Tableau's chart engine primarily talks about these two dimensions and measures. All the data in this world can be broadly classified into a dimension, which is a blue cup, or a measure, in this case is a red cup. So choosing charts is primarily based on how many dimensions do I have, and how many measures do I have, and combinations of dimensions and combinations of measures will lead you to choose a most appropriate chart in a scientific manner. Let's take a simple example. What is a chart type you think I'm gonna choose when I have one dimension and one measure? Think about this for a minute. So one dimension and one measure. And let's use our data for, an under, for, for a little bit more understanding. So let's say my dimension is gonna be something as simple as maybe category. And my measure is sales. So how, what is the best form of display that I would choose when I have a category and sales? You probably have guessed this, probably a bar chart, right? So let's draw this. I'm gonna drag and drop category onto columns. Three different categories. I'm gonna drag and drop sales onto rows and place it right over here. One dimension, one measure category, sum of sales. Length of bar explains sum of sales. Good deal. So this is the most basic chart when you're trying to think about one dimension, one measure. So once you have that nailed, then I wanna have, so this is where we started, right? One measure, one dimension. Now I wanna add one more dimension. So have two dimensions, but just one measure. What do I do? I can still go with a bar chart, by category, by sum of sales, I wanna maybe analyze region, right? So I'm gonna say drag and drop region right next to columns and say by category, by region, this is my sum of sales. And let's, let's just put on a text label. So I'm gonna click on show mark labels and display the values there. So I'm seeing by category, what are the sales within each region? Now, I can play with this a little bit. If I don't like to see a lot of bars going left to right, I can swap this. I can say, you know what, I can flip this region, drag and drop region right onto rows and say, you know what, this is a lot better because I can see within a particular row, I can see all the regions and all the sales, right? And I can see uh, the subcategory. I can see each of the regions, what the sales are, well, how, how they went up, whether they were flat and so on. I can also do a stacked bar, all right? So with these two dimensions, I wanna say maybe, you know what, category is fine. I wanna see within each category, I wanna see one bar that basically stacks up all the regions. How do I do that? So I'm gonna take the region right that's right there on the columns. I'm gonna drag and drop region onto the color shelf. So the color shelf, again, to remember, to remind you, this is a marks card, this area. Within the marks card, I have color shelf, size, label, and so on. I'm gonna use the color shelf here. I'm gonna drag and drop, take this region, drag and drop the region, just and place it on top of color. Notice what happens immediately. Each of the categories now have a different color and magically a color legend also pops up which tells me what these colors mean. What if I want to still maintain the colors, but go back to my original view wherein I had region onto columns. If I just drag and drop this onto my columns, I'm gonna lose color. So I'm gonna do an undo. If I want to add the region, but still yet maintain the region as a color shelf, all I need to do is just drag another instance from my dimensions and drag and drop it over columns. So that way I'm still maintaining my color legend and also including region on my column shelf. So I can also do the same thing as you know, if I drag and drop region right next to rows and I'm gonna drag and drop sales onto columns, I can create what's called a side-by-side -side bar which basically tracks this and so on. These are options that I have to deal with when I have a single dimension and measure and you also saw how you can 
expand the dimension into one more dimension.